My name is Jenna, and welcome to my lab. Your lab can be anywhere, in your kitchen or living room, anywhere you want. In today's lab story, we are going to learn about famous entomologist and scientific illustrator, Maria Sibilia Marion. What is entomology, you ask? Well, entomology is the study of bugs and insects, like butterflies, beetles, and worms. This is what Maria studied, entomology, or bugs and insects. You know, drawing these insects can be really useful for scientific research, and that's what Maria did. She would study different insects and draw them, and they would be used in scientific papers all over the world. In fact, some of her pictures are even in this physics textbook. She combined her passion of drawing and science. Let's go learn more about Maria. Meet Maria. She was born in the 16th century in Germany. She loved collecting bugs, beetles, caterpillars, but her favorite was the butterfly. She would look for the butterfly anywhere she went and draw them anytime she could. She had notebooks full of them and even sold her artwork for money to different scientists. Oh, I love butterflies too. I see them in my backyard sometimes. Do you ever see bugs out tossing around in the wind or running around on top of water? Maria would find these bugs, catch them, study them, and then draw them. And then once that was done, she would release them back into the wild to live a long, bug-filled life. You know, I think my favorite bug is the spider. Or, or I think I'd like to draw a ladybug. But I ran out of red paint last week drawing that stop sign. Hmm. Well, maybe we can be like Maria and draw some butterflies. Let's go see what she's doing now. 1-800-CALL-MARIA Hi, Maria. It's Jenna. Oh, just do it an episode of Labra Stories. Oh, you're busy drawing a monarch right now. That's a kind of butterfly. We were hoping to come see you. Oh, sure, I'll tell them some facts about butterflies. You want to hear some facts about butterflies? There are over 17,000 species of butterflies. Species means kind. So there's 17,000 kinds of butterflies. What was that? You want me to tell them how you discovered the butterfly life cycle? On it, Maria. Maria discovered the butterfly life cycle, which is a really unique kind of life cycle compared to other animals in the animal kingdom. I made this video for you to better understand. Thanks, Maria. Email me that picture when you're done. You don't have email in the 16th century? Well, my phone's not even connected to my wall, so this whole conversation is made up. Bye, Maria. The butterfly life cycle starts when a butterfly lays eggs on a leaf. From the eggs hatches larvae, which turns into a caterpillar. The caterpillar then forms a cocoon. And from the cocoon emerges a beautiful butterfly. video. I think it's really interesting that butterflies lay eggs that produce other butterflies. But wait, if butterflies come from other butterflies, what made the very first butterfly? I have some science questions. It's time for a beaker break with Dr. Pie Pet. Grab your beaker and take a sip. of science.
science questions. Mm. Today, we are learning about the butterfly life cycle and all about Maria Sibilia Marion. Oh, what riveting research. Yeah, but we have some questions. Mm. We learned that butterflies lay eggs that hatch other butterflies. Uh -huh. But what created the very first butterfly? Oh, the classic question. Which came first, the chicken or the egg? <laughs> <laughs> chicken. Oh, science makes me hungry. Oh, focus, Dr. Pipette. We're learning here. Oh. Billions of years ago, single cells were living on this earth. Through many, many, many years of growth and mutation, the animals and plants we have today evolved. Growth and mutation? Hmm. Animals evolved from other animals. Oh. The very first butterfly possibly evolved from a tiny, tiny, tiny fossil the size of a speck of dust. Whoa! And eventually grew into the butterfly we see today. Oh my goodness, that is so cool. Mm. I didn't know that, but I guess it's the same way that the dogs we have today evolved from wolves, right? Mm -hmm. oh, well, thank you so much. I gotta get back to learning about Maria. Oh, the brilliant illustrator and entomologist. I'll let you get back then. Don't forget to finish your beaker and stay hydrated. Bye-bye. Bye, Dr. Pipette. Wow, that was a whole bunch of information. But basically, animals evolve from other animals. Let's go check out what Maria did later in life. At the age of 52, Maria packed up all of her belongings and traveled to the rainforest of South America to continue her research. Maria sketched thousands of different bugs and insects that were used for research for years to come. You can still find them today in books and on the internet. Hey! I'm still finishing my beaker. Important to stay hydrated, you know. Ah. You know, Maria even dealt with poisonous bugs and lived to tell the tale. Actually, before Maria's research, people thought that bugs just appeared magically in garbage. <laughs> Bugs didn't actually spontaneously appear. People just didn't understand science in the way that we do today. Today, Maria's drawings are still used in textbooks all over the world. Think of her anytime you see a butterfly or anytime you're hiking the rainforests of South America. Goodbye, Maria. I never received the email you sent me. Wow, what an amazing woman. I think my new favorite insect is butterflies. It was originally the dung beetle, if you were curious. I'm gonna take you all through a butterfly craft. First, here are the supplies you need. A pen, marker, or a pencil. And a piece of paper, fold it in half. Okay, now that we have our supplies, let's get going. Take that folded piece of paper and your paints. I want you to dab little blobs of paint in a butterfly-like pattern all over your piece of paper. On one half of the piece of paper. All over that one half, because since it's folded, it is now divided into halves. We'll cover, we'll cover math in another episode. So once you get that going, I like to use light colors and dark colors and really a mix of everything. I'm really curious what yours are gonna look like. And then after, I'm gonna hang it up on my fridge so my mom can tell me I did a good job. 
It's really nice when people are proud of you. Okay, one more color. I think I'm gonna go with a green. Now, this is what my piece of paper looks like so far. Right now, I'm gonna fold the whole thing in half, right down the middle. You can feel all that paint squish around. That's good. We want it to get everywhere. What we are doing is making symmetrical, which means the same on both sides, butterfly wings. Now, open your piece of paper. Oh, look at that. Does that look like a butterfly? You can take the marker that we suggested and add some antenna and some wing outlines. Really whatever you want to make it look like a butterfly. <gasps> this is how mine turned out. It kind of looks like a turtle and a butterfly. Thanks for sticking around for this episode of Labra Stories. Next week, we're going to cover a brand new scientist. Thanks for coming to my lab. I'm Jenna, and this has been about Maria Sibylia Marion. Thank you, and goodbye!